Happy Plant Fam! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is part of my jungle and today I wanted to open up a box that I got from Amazon. I mean, I already opened it. It was like a box within a box within a box within a box. Why does Amazon do that? Like they send you like this massive box and it's like one little thing in there, but it's fine. It was a box full of pots within another box. So I've been trying to find some self-watering pots that I like that are aesthetically pleasing as well as functional. So I found these online and they're by Divine Dev. I don't know, this isn't sponsored, but I will leave these linked down below if you guys are interested in checking them out. They look like this. So I have a lot of thirsty plants like begonias, syngoniums, calatheas, and uh, I have a hamalomina that I love, but they're just, they're so thirsty. And I find that I am more successful with plants like this when I have them in a self-watering pot because I don't have to worry so much about watering them every like four to five days because that is honestly how often I have to water some of them, never mind when it's hot out. Oh my goodness, they feel like all I do is water my plants every day. So I've been searching on Amazon and, and other places to find some aesthetic self-watering pots. I forgot what I was gonna say for a second there. So I found these and I thought that they were cute because, oh, 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 oh be careful, um, packaged well. Don't love styrofoam, but there's not much you can really do when they're shipping stuff to you. So, okay, these ones are cool because they are terracotta, like real clay terracotta, which is very absorbent. You guys did not know. And then it has this little glass clear underneath. So terracotta, glass. Well, ASMR for you guys. I love tapping my nails on everything, but I just cut them recently, so they're not very long. They're still sort of satisfying. Anyway, so the terracotta just goes kind of like into the glass. You fill the glass a little bit with water, and then the terracotta will wick the water up into the soil, ideally. So this came in a pack of two. They were not cheap. I will leave them linked for you below but I didn't want like ugly plastic ones with the wick I thought that this was much more aesthetically pleasing and that it would be fun to try them out so I have this begonia here I have my repotting mat over here still has some dirt in it from earlier I've been on a filming spree today so <laughs> it's filming everything today so that I don't have to worry about it next week because next week David and I are doing a lot of moving stuff and furniture and taking a trip to Ikea and things like that so if you guys want to see um more of that journey definitely go check out our channel I'm going to be vlogging like the whole entire moving process obviously anything that has to do with plants like moving my plants will be here so make sure you're subscribed and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss that stuff if that is something that you're looking for. So I'm gonna take this little tray leaf monstrella trellis out of here, which is cute as hell, by the way. I will leave this linked below for you guys as well. I have a discount code for you to use. I think it's 10% off and I do make a commission if you shop through my links. Highly recommend handcrafted. I mean, it's laser cut, but these are all hand uh, finished and they smell amazing when they come out of the package and it is a small woman owned business in the USA in case you have not seen any of my tree leaf videos now you know so I'm gonna take this begonia that I don't know the name of and get her out of this pot hopefully her roots aren't too deep because this is kind of like a tall container and we're gonna get in here and pot her up. So let me know if you guys use self-watering pots, what plants you use them for, if you just avoid thirsty plants altogether because you can't be bothered. I 
I just really love begonias, so I can't help myself. I haven't been buying new ones because they kind of just grow really stupid sometimes. Um, I just did a video about that. If you guys want to watch that, I'll link it for you up here. All the plants that annoy me because they grow stupid. This is looking like a good root ball. I'm just very gently trying to get as much of this old soil out of here as possible without damaging the roots. But yeah, let me know if you guys use any self-watering pots, where you buy them from, which ones you like, if you have found success with them. I have another video up on my channel where I repotted a bunch of begonias into a self-watering pot from Mudila. I've been wanting to do an update on that for you guys, so if you want to see that and see how those are doing. I am more than happy to show you that. I also got another one of that same pot, so I wanted to put another plant in there. So if you guys want to watch me repot another plant into that same self-watering pot again and show you how the begonias are doing in there, because I kind of did like a mixed pot of begonias in there and it looks really, really cute. And I've watered it like once. So I've refilled it like literally once since I repotted it. So I think that's as good as we're going to get. For the roots, I like to give them a little shake. Shake, shake, shake. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I really genuinely apologize for getting that stuck in your head. So I'm going to use a mix of regular potting soil and a little bit of the De La Tanks just for aeration. I like to mix the two together. My other soil comes from the next gardener. I have them linked below. I have this linked below for you guys as well. So soil in here just gonna mix it up a little because you want to make sure it stays nice and aerated but you don't want it to be too chunky because then it'll dry out really quickly so this is usually a good mix for me nice and chunky but still light and fluffy at the same time if that makes sense so I'm just gonna have to pour like half of this out really quick just wanted to mix it first Get these roots down in here. And then backfill the soil back in there. It's repotting that is like a game changer. We'll definitely link, I think I have them already linked down there below if you guys go into my description box and you scroll all the way down I have tons and tons of Amazon links down there and I have them organized all out into like the soil that I use and different products that I use all linked mostly on Amazon if you guys want to check those out so that is that it looks cute and then I should have got some water. Let me go get some water. I do like to use filtered water for these plants because it seems to keep them from getting crispy. So you don't have to, but I like to. So let me go grab some water. Okay. Okay. Oh God, my legs hurt from sitting on the floor. I need like a little like, ottoman or something to sit on because now I'm like super low in the frame, but I want you guys to like see what I'm doing. So I filled it up about halfway with water because we got to put the container in there and um, water displacement. Eureka! Okay. Anyway, I'm a nerd. It's fine. Ooh, 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 ooh. Might be a little too much water. Okay, that's fine. We'll get rid of some over here. So a little less than halfway with water should be good. Perfecto. Cute. This is really cute. This is way cuter than like those plastic ones that I see. Let me get closer. This looks really, really cute. And I love that I'm not going to have to water this anymore now. So that's good. That's that, you guys. I mean, that's really all there is to it. I'm just going to let it chill for maybe like a week or two. And then we'll meet we'll meet again and I will update you on how this plant is doing. I'm not even going to water it. I'm just going to leave it like this and see what happens like a week or two from now if this plant 
is dying or thriving. So if you want to see that, then um, see you in a minute. <laughs> hey. <laughs> So what's going on, fam? I don't know why I'm talking like this. It's fine. I don't know how to start this and I'm not feeling great today, <laughs> but today is Friday, March 11th and it's been just over two weeks since I put my begonia, forget the name of this begonia, into this self-watering pot and I've only refilled it once since then. So the soil is moist. She doesn't look any worse. She doesn't look any better. And I haven't had to really water her as frequently. So I'm not mad about it. So far, so good. And I think that we can safely put another plant in here and uh, feel good about it. So probably a Syngonium. We're going to put in one of these next and see how that does. So I will have these linked for you guys on Amazon. I think they were about $24, $25 for a pack of two. So a little bit more pricey, a little bit more aesthetic though, in my opinion. So that is why I picked them up to try them. But you do you boo, lots of options on Amazon for sure. And yeah, so I'm going to leave you here. I hope that you guys found this helpful and informative if you were looking to try self-watering pots. I have another one Ooh, over here, over here, it's backwards, over here, this one from Mudila that I unboxed and potted up some begonias with you a long time ago. So if you guys want an update on that, I can give you an update on that. I got another one but I'm waiting until we're all moved in over at David's before I figure out what I'm going to put in there because I just, I don't know what the space is going to look like and I don't want to go crazy potting things into big things <laughs> if I don't know where it's going to go. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope that you enjoy videos like this. Let me know if you do. If there's any other products that you want me to try and review, let me know in the comments below. And I am more than happy to do that. So if you enjoyed talking about this self-watering pot, it's terracotta, it's super cute. And uh, you want to see more content like this or more updates on transferring all of my thirsty plants and stuff like that to um, self-watering pots. I can definitely film more of that for you guys if you're interested in. I have tons of Hoyas that are blooming right now too. I'll probably do a video about soon. And uh, yeah, I'm going to shut up and go. So I appreciate you fam. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. It's down there. If it's red, click on it. Make it gray. I appreciate you really helps me out if you are watching my videos regularly to make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. That is it for this video. If you watch the whole thing, leave me the potted plant emoji. I appreciate you fam and I will see you in the next one.